As we return to a new world of sea kayaking plus social distancing, we'll face some novel challenges. Familiar techniques and tactics may need to be modified to maintain distance between paddlers, while other skills will become more important. One such skill is self-rescue, which, if we can climb back into our kayaks unassisted, can remove the need for our paddling partners to be involved. Over the years, I've found that many good sea kayakers can struggle with self-rescues for the simple reason that they don't fall in much, and so it's not a well-practiced skill. We have a great opportunity this summer to develop our self-rescues. All we need is a practice area where we can easily swim ashore and a willingness to get wet. The next five minutes of footage is taken from our Sea Kayak Essentials Safety and Rescue video and focuses on one self-rescue option, the scramble aboard technique. It's a good solution for many people and well worth practicing. Our full video also includes rolling, re-entry roll and paddle float techniques. Remember to be flexible in your practice and experiment with variations on these simple demonstrations. It can be a lot of fun to practice balancing and will pay dividends in your rough water stability. Another self-rescue option that works well in more challenging conditions is the scramble aboard method. It demands good balance, but once learned, is a speedy and effective way of getting back into your kayak. It's also a progressive skill. The exercises demonstrated here are useful stepping stones and well worth practicing. The scramble aboard technique can be a good option after a rocky launch, and it brings the great advantage of a relatively empty cockpit at the end of the technique. Without the need to pump the kayak dry, you can simply replace the spray deck and paddle away. The scramble aboard self-rescue is made up of three stages. Climbing out the water onto the back deck, balancing in that position and sliding into the cockpit. You can practice each element individually and spend time developing balance and coordination on top of the kayak. Find a sheltered bay close to the beach and spend time exploring your sense of balance as you move around the kayak. Your legs are an important means of staying in balance, as is the paddle. Try to maintain an upright, slightly forward body position to enable you to remain centered over the kayak as it moves underneath you. Remember also that these skills are fun to practice, so don't worry too much about outcomes. The process of becoming more balanced will develop over time. Let's take a closer look at the full technique. With good balance skills, the principal challenge now is to empty the kayak, climb onto the back deck of the boat, slide into the cockpit, replace the spray deck and paddle away. To empty the kayak, go to the bow and prepare to lift. If the kayak's empty and you don't mind having your head under the water, it's not a difficult move. If you're struggling, try tilting the kayak slightly on its side to break the vacuum seal of the cockpit. You can also hold the paddle in a spare hand to give a little extra support as you push the bow upwards. Don't worry about completely emptying the cockpit. Simply lift for a couple of seconds and let the kayak flip upright. 
If there's a little water left in the cockpit, you can sponge or pump it out at the end of the self-rescue. If you've a paddle leash, it's tempting to leave the blades in the water next to the boat, but the paddle can give us a great deal of support, so try holding it across the cockpit or back deck, ready for use once you've scrambled aboard. Lie flat and try to pull the back deck under your chest. Keep a low horizontal position, take a good grip of the kayak and use a vigorous pull to get onto the boat. So there's the scramble aboard self-rescue. It's a useful practical skill, but even if you never need to use it, developing these skills can help improve your balance and coordination in the kayak. If you can stay upright in the waves while sitting on the back deck, you'll be far less likely to fall in when you're securely inside the boat. If you found this video useful, you can access all four hours of high quality sea kayak instructional chapters by directly purchasing them via our Kayak Essentials website or by joining our Essential Membership Service, which gives you access to a huge range of videos, articles, podcasts and webinars covering technical skills, navigation tools, leadership principles and coaching issues. At £3.60 per month, we think it's pretty good value. You'll find further information in the members area of our Kayak Essentials website.